today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the ultimate guide to creating piano patches for your church. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you stick around until the end because I'm about to share with you all the secrets. Welcome back to another video. My name is Kel Bailey. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button and like this video. Again, we're gonna be going over how to build piano patches and I'm gonna be sharing with you everything that I use on Sunday mornings. So typically I'm using a Roland MKS-20 which is a sound module. I'll show that on the screen. I'm also using a Yamaha Motif Rack, um, which is another sound module. And then I'm using a Roland JV3080. Um, in my older videos, I was using a Nord Stage 3. For the sake of this video, um, I'm gonna be demonstrating using my Nord as well. So in any of the videos that you've ever probably seen me play live, I'm more than likely using my sound modules, the things that I just named, the Roland MKS-20, the original Yamaha Motif Rack, the Roland XV3080. I'm using all of those things to create the sounds that I'm using. I'm gonna break down piece by piece what each sound module sounds like alone. And for the sake of this video, I don't have the sound modules here with me in the studio. I only have them in logic right now starting with the yamaha motif rack i'm typically using power grand or natural grand and this is what power grand sounds like so that's what power grand sounds like this is what the yamaha mks 20 sounds like Then I'm typically using some type of strings, whether I'm using background strings on the Nord or whether I'm using a Nord strings that comes with the um, Nord keyboard stock. But this is what the strings sound like. Then I'm using MK80 Rhodes. Now the MK80 Rhodes that's in my XV3080 rolling rack, this is what this sounds like. Not only do I use my sound modules as sound sources, but I also blend the Nord in there as well. So this is what it sounds like when I blend my Nord in there. So it sounds super full, it sounds super rich, and it just sounds all around good when you're able to incorporate sound modules along with your main keyboard. So that's the secret. I'm not using all of Nord sounds, I'm stacking them along with sound modules and that's giving me such a full sound. And here's one of my preferences that I will let you guys know. I would much rather use my hardware live instead of using VSTs. If you're able to get your hands on the real MKS-20, or the real Yamaha Motif Rack, I would say figure out how you can get your hands on them. Um, the MKS-20, they are kind of rare to find right now because not a lot of people are selling them, but a good price range for the Roland MKS-20 is probably anywhere between 400 and 700, and the Yamaha Motif, you can probably get it from anywhere between 400 and $600 or so. And the Roland XB3080, not as hard to find. You can probably get one in anywhere between $300 and $500. So definitely check eBay. Um, check Reverb. Those are great resources and great websites to um, check out those sound modules at. I want to share with you the sounds that I would use if um, I'm playing on my Motif ES8 classic board right here. I want to share with you some of the patches I use. So check this out. Starting off with this patch, we're just going to have on layer one full grand piano.
And that full grand piano, I took the reverb out because I don't like a whole bunch of extra added reverb on my keyboard. Layer two, we have background strings. Layer three, we have CP, 80 EP, and that's gonna be found under the keyboard category. Then I would add polysynth in there. So this is like a brass patch, but you can use it in worship as well. So check this out. Now I want to switch out full grand piano for ballad keys and this is what this sounds like. So that is the ultimate guide to building piano patches for church. Everything that I showed you in this video is super base level. Um, let this just be a foundation point for you to begin your sound design and your building patches career. Use this as a blueprint, as a foundation to build upon and go even deeper and further. I promise you, um, if this information seems new to you and if this all seems like a lot to take in, it may be right now, but trust me, everything that I showed you in this video is super, super base level and it gets so much more bigger than what I showed you. Like I showed you the standard gospel church sounds that we typically always use. Again, I encourage you to dig deeper and find your own unique sound. Use this as a blueprint, but go greater and go higher. Thank you guys for your continued support. We're almost at 7,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So thank you guys for everything. That's all we got for today. We are out.